All right, so what we're going to do here today is we're going to use the concatenate function in Google Sheets to produce an email list, which is kind of fun. So we're going to make an email list of, um, well, for us students, but if, you, if you're pulling stuff out of a database, it can sometimes be really tricky to do bulk emails. You might get stuck doing that email in the database, and that's no fun because you're stuck with their formatting and they never look as good as you want them to. So what we're going to look at is we're going to be using a concatenate function to make um, an email out of the information we have here. Now, one of the things that makes this useful is that most organizations, schools and otherwise, when they generate emails, emails for people, they have a very specific formula. Um, for our school, for example, it is year that they'll graduate, um, surname, initial of the first name, and then um, at student dot whatever. So we'll have a look at that. Now, let's get started. So if we pop down into our cell where we want it to go, so if we go uh, equals concatenate, no, we want, con we want concatenate, actually. Concatenate does uh, a bunch. Concat does just two. Um, the first thing, now, actually, the other thing we want to do, well, first off, we'll write the year. We'll say these kids are going to graduate in 23, 2023. Um, we want to include, if possible, the information with no spaces because they don't have spaces in email. So we want to safeguard against that. So we're going to use the trim function. And then we will click on the surname close it off so we now have the year and the surname entered now again because we don't want any spaces we're going to start with trim because we're pulling it out of a um, out of a, a cell we want the first initial so we want to read that from the left for one character so we we're going to use the function left we're going to use their first name and now remember if there's a space in there trim will actually get rid of that and we want to use one for one character, brackets there, and then brackets again. So we now have year, surname, first initial. So now we start to just put in the end. So we'll put in a dummy address. So at uh, student.school.edu. And that works for us. Remember, we put it in quotation marks so we know that it appears there. And we press enter and we have Buffy Summers email. She's going to, so we copy that across and we can just double click here or drag it all the way down and we'll get a bunch of emails. We make our table the right size. Um, now this is all dependent, uh, sorry, dynamic. So if I change uh, this one, The email changes, see? So Buffy Summer over here. Remember, it's all, this is the key. So this is the one we're looking at. Um, bang. Um, and if I go down the bottom, and if I decide to add um, Clark Kent, and then we go, uh, copy that down. And we see that we can start to get, it, it's just easy to keep building and adding. Um, but we'll undo that. We don't want that goody two shoes in our school. Anyway, so yeah, that's our that's our way to set up emails using concatenate an email list. This one here, even though it's in separate cells, if we want to just zzz, press Control C, we can copy that straight into um, our straight into our, our email program. Whether it's Outlook, a Gmail version, whatever you want, that can be just copied straight in, and away we go. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Um, play around with concatenate. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. And we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thanks for watching. Bye now.